This point guard shared a cover of Slam with LeBron in high school and had Jay-Z and Derek Jeter attending his games. But whatever happened to Sebastian Telfair? Sebastian was born and raised in the Surfside Gardens projects of Coney Island, one of the most dangerous and impoverished neighborhoods in the country. By the time he was 11, Bassey, which was his nickname, was being touted as a basketball prodigy. He was even ranked as the number one fifth grader in the country. While Telfair lacked size, his quickness and handles were unrivaled. And by the time he entered high school, scouts were already throwing out Allen Iverson comparisons. Another star that Bassey was often compared to was his cousin, Stefan Marbury, an all-star guard that also grew up on Coney Island. The two actually played a game of one-on-one -on -one when Telfair was still in high school and Marbury was in the middle of his peak. And apparently, Bassey dominated the game. In a time before hoop mixtapes, Sebastian was still able to garner national attention by putting up otherworldly numbers at Abraham Lincoln High School in Brooklyn. That included averaging 33 points per game his senior year and route to shattering the All-State scoring record. He would grace the cover of Slam Magazine alongside another young phenom, LeBron James, and had become so big he had celebrities such as Jay-Z and Derek Jeter attending his high school games. Even with the legendary production, there were some concerns about Bassey's game. His defense was raw, his shooting wasn't sharp, and his size left much to be desired. Most agreed that it would be in Sebastian's best interest to spend some time at the collegiate level. Telfair would commit to playing for Rick Pitino at Louisville before his senior year. But in the middle of the season, tragedy struck when a fatal shooting took place at the apartment complex that Sebastian and his family lived at. Telfair felt like he needed to get his family into a new living situation as quickly as possible and needed the funds to do so. So Sebastian ultimately made what he felt was the best decision for him and his family, reeling back his commitment to Louisville and declaring for the NBA draft. Shortly thereafter, he would sign a $15 million deal with Adidas and would be drafted 13th overall in the 2004 NBA draft to the Portland Trailblazers, making him the highest drafted point guard to ever come straight out of high school. But Bassey's deficiencies were quickly exploited in the NBA. He simply could not blow by defenders like he did back in Coney Island. What followed was an unimpressive career in which Sebastian bounced around eight teams in the span of 10 years. His most productive year came in 2007, where he averaged nine points and six assists per game. But by the age of 29, Bassey was out of the NBA for good. Four years later, Sebastian would be sentenced to three and a half years in prison for possession of an illegal firearm, though he was released just days later on an appeal. And last year, Telfair, along with 17 other former NBA players, was charged for defrauding the NBA's health fund for over $350,000. Sadly, Telfair failed to ever live up to the hype as one of the greatest point guard prospects of all time. And it's impossible to know for certain how Telfair's career might have changed had he spent at least one year at Louisville polishing his game before entering the NBA draft.